Somehow, Palpatine's returned. Hello. Ah, oh, no, it says Call of Duty? Ah, oh, fuck. I assure you, it's not Call of Duty. What happened? Did it not update? Yeah, but now all your notifications are gonna go out and say Warzone. Oh, man. Oh, well. I don't really care. Uh, well, you know what? No, let me restart so people can join in if they want and, and see that it's not Call of Duty, because they'll just look at that and be like, Bleh! They'll make the disgusted face. Uh, I'll be right back. We back? Two whole streams in one day. Amazing. Um, st state of play? No. They're not revealing any PS5 stuff, so I'm not really that interested. I'll check it out later. Anyway, I'm here early today because I'd like to enjoy uh, the weather and play some guitar and relax a little bit tonight. I like to have a night off every now and then. And yet, I still have time to play some video games, so here we are. So, um, last time... Um, on this game, we saved the staff, so we're gonna cut loose in Shogun Studios. Woohoo. Right. But hi, everybody. Thank you for, for joining. Vinny, upload Barn Finders? I'm, uh, I'm gonna upload and do some editing while I'm playing the game right now. I gotcha. Nah, John, John Full Sauce has got that. Missed out on the Call of Duty stream. <laughs> Can't wait to see it on Full Sauce. Can't tell if sarcasm, but I'll tell you what. It was fun. And we did okay one round, but... We were all, like, half delirious, and, like, blinding everything. Um, I got a couple kills. <laughs> Vinny, you spelled order wrong in the title, but I spelled odor right. Anyway, hi, Toads. They're happy. Oh shit, I should restart, because there's an update. I should restart, because there's an update for Animal Crossing 2? Big M? Ma'am? Hmm? What's up, Bobby? Do you need to use the bathroom? I remember! My missing memories, they all came back to me just now. Well? Who were you? What? Yay, I'm so happy that your memories are back, Bobby. We saved Chogun Studios, we blew that blue streamer away, and we had a blast while doing it. Exactly! It was a blast from those fireworks that finally knocked the pieces back in place for me. You're lucky- uh, you're lucky you don't have a fuse, Bobby. Because that would have, um, caused a different kind of explosion. I remember who I am, I remember where I came from, but... Uh, all the new memories we made together are my favorite ones yet. 
Big M, Olivia, thank you for taking care of me. I'll never forget you, that's a promise. Good luck on your journey, I hope you both... What are you saying, Bobby? You really think we have to part ways just because you got your old memories back? We still have to take down the rest of the streamers. Stop my brother and save Peach's castle. You're part of the team! So stop saying goodbye and get on the boat already. Aw, oh, shucks. Don't make me cry, you two, but bombs aren't supposed to get wet. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. I'm by your side to the very end, that's a promise. This is such a touch and scene. Y'all are tugging my heartstrings like a cheap cheap on a line. Okay, you two, no time to rest. Let's get that yellow streamer. Looks like we can pass through that river gate now. I guess I should play Smash, too, because Smash Animal Crossing and Paper Mario got an update. Patch notes. A more pleasurable gaming environment. Next stop on this river tour is Sweet Paper Valley. Okay. Update fixes a late game soft lock. That's that's fine. I won't worry about it now. The Smash update I think is the one that adds small battlefield and also uh Luigi was shadow dropped. I have uh pancake syrup on on my um my pinky chat. I'll let you figure out how it got there. Here's a hint. I was eating pancakes. So, while we've got a little time, tell me a little bit more about yourself, Bobby. What was life like before we met? Huh? Well, I'm not sure where to start. You know that saying, life hits you hard. Well, I got hit super hard. Getting smacked around by life. Oof. Sounds intense, but I think I know that feeling. Yes, Chad, it was from Waffles, thank you. Alright, your brother really made a mess of things, so I guess we're in the same boat. Literally. You got that right. But I'm gonna keep doing my best. Let's get to the next streamer and stop my brother. Here we are. Sweet Paper Valley. This is the last downriver stop. Thanks for riding with us today and enjoy your stay. Wow, look at these rocks. You couldn't build a place like this if you tried. Even though it's all constructed. From construction paper. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> that face was still there. Um, I've heard of a valley fold, but this is like an actual valley. Alright, let's hurry through sweet peep- sweet peep- and find that streamer. Someone said head back to Shogun Studios and, and take a photo. Should I do that now or wait a little while? What do you think? I'll do it later. It really is like Mario Party 2, come to life. We just need pirates in this game. You should do it now? Okay. It's probably about the ups and downs of life. It could be about actual folding, I guess. Hard to say. As long as it doesn't, like, take forever. Uh, chat is- is getting really weird about this thing at the photo studio. Either way, that's pretty deep and inspiring. Even a dud like me might climb up one of life's mountains someday. Is Bobby's character arc that he's a dud? And that... Like, his inner explosion needs to be found so that he can explode? And sacrifice himself for the team? That would be cool. I'm not looking at chat, I don't want to know, but I'm just saying. You guys were the best friends I've ever had. Well, you were the only friends I've ever had, but I've got to do this. I've got to do this. And then he explodes, and then he's just dead. 
That would suck, but it would be a good story element. Welcome to Shogun Studios, folks. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so we'll, we'll go do this photo studio thing, whatever. When I heard Shogun Studios had reopened, I cancelled all my plans and ran all the way here. Then I realized I forgot my wallet. At least this entrance is pretty. Welcome to Shogun Studios. Hi, Toad-san. My pass is this hook. Make way royalty coming through. I heard that they have some exclusive products in the souvenir shop here. I gotta get me them hot sluices? What? Sclusies. Sclusies? Like exclusives? You tell a lot about a person by the choice of souvenir, that's why I'm searching for something classy. Where are they hiding the knickknacks with googly eyes in this place? Where are they hiding the aliens? Like I said, if... If there's anything I would collect... It would be, um... You know, I just want to collect, like, little alien figurines and stuff. I want to be that person. Samurai aliens? N ninja aliens? Fine. Vinny, don't you collect amiibos? I did. I did. I haven't collected, um... I think Cloud was the last one. I think? Oh, it's you, Mario. Thank goodness those folded soldiers look tough, so I am strate strategically sequestered myself. As long as you're here, I'm sure everything will be fine. That means I can reopen the souvenir shop. Mate. Vinny, I thought you'd get Richter and Hero. I forgot about Richter and Hero, but yeah, I, I would get them. Those two would be nice to have. Are they, like, available now? Welcome. Interested in souvenir from Shogun Studios? Yes. Hero isn't available yet. Richter is available. Yeah, Richter and Hero would be the two. Vinny, is this game really good? Every time. <laughs> Watch, um, my previous streams of this to find out whether or not I think it's good. I'm not doing the whole speech again, I'm sorry to say, chat member. Uh, also, I'm only like, you know, this is like stream number six or five. Membership card? 20% discount on weapons and items in shop, so that's cool. I'm, uh, not broke, but I, that was a lot of money. That I just spent there. The game is good. Could have been better. Is how I feel. About. But a very enjoyable stream that chat has been enjoying, I feel. And myself as well. There you go. Um... Hey, what's that? Oh, that's the baseball. So, uh, the photo studio is here. Oh, ha oh. ha 
Welcome to the Dress Up Photo Studio. Would you like a photo to remember your fun day here? Oh, you brought a royalty pass. Thank you for your patronage, sir. I shall waive the fee of 500 gold bits. Please choose any outfit. Excellent choice. This outfit is available only to those who purchased a royalty pass. <laughs> the photo came out great. I've hung it on our display wall in the back. We can hang only one photo per outfit at a time. Studio policy. Oh. I'm wondering if this was just for fun. Vinny, what about state of play? I really don't have that much interest in watching that. There's apparently no PS5 news. You can watch it. I'll check it out later. I'll talk about it tomorrow. The photo came out great. I've hung it on our display wall in the back. I don't even have a fucking functional PS4 controller at the moment, because both of my controllers broke. So, if they reveal any more PS4 games, I have to buy a new controller. Um... I, listen, maybe we'll get some Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 news. I don't know. But, uh... We will see. Multiplats. Chat will be talking about it, probably. Yeah, if chat tells me anything cool that's happening, like something I might be interested in, that would be fine. I could talk about it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think, um... I just don't know what they could be revealing unless it's like a Bloodborne 2 <laughs> that I personally would be all that interested in if it's not on PS5. I just have a feeling that we're getting so close to... Ah, oh, your eyes are closed. We're getting so close to PS5, I don't know what giant AAA titles could be on the PS4. Maybe just some ports, or like a remake, or like a multi-plat, I don't know. Maybe GTA 5 again. Which outfit should I go with for my photo? Vinny, no love for the Demon Souls remake. I'd never played Demon Souls. So I may have some interest in that, but like you know, it's it's not like um it's not something I have a ton of nostalgia for because I've never played the original. You know, as, like, a game that I would check out for the first time, perhaps. I'll look into it. Any interest in Cyberpunk? I just talked about Cyberpunk a couple days ago. It's exhausting. I'm good. I'm probably gonna get it. I don't know if I'm gonna stream all of it, but for some reason, my hype for that game is... ...not all that high, weirdly enough. It's, it's moderate. Vinny, talk to the toad next to the save block. Vinny, you missed the meme toad? Oh, god damn it. I want to talk to the meme toad. I have to talk to the meme toad. Why is admission so expensive? Let me in! Let me in! Worth it. Well, Eric Andre got into a fucking Paper Mario game. Hey, any writers for Paper Mario? Uh, for Paper Mario... 
um, cardboard caper on Switch 2. Can, can you throw in a quick Vine Sauce reference? That would be sweet. Thank you. Just throw it in. Just have, like, a greasy pizza say something like spin. I don't know. That's fine. You don't have to, but Cardboard Caper is, is a game that I'm looking forward to. I've, I've already uh, seen the design docs for it. Or you could just have Sponge be a playable character. I won't ask for any money. For inventing <laughs> the Mario character that is sad and orange. That streamer just keeps going through the valley and beyond. Looks like we'll need to go through that tunnel to reach the other side. <sighs> Vinny, 32 speen variations in 60 seconds video. Can you show it on stream? I've already seen this, by the way, but okay. On second thought, Nintendo, please never include a Vine Sauce reference in any of your games, ever. Spoon! Spoon! Alright. Spoon! Why did I do this? Loud is funny. Spin, 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 spin. This was a mistake. All right, thank you for that. Um, if you do another one, please don't have it ruin any of my ears, any of my seven ears, please. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Um, is there music playing in this game right now? <laughs> my, I, I really had my volume way too high for that. Oh, hello. Well, thank you anyway for the spin video, I guess. Ollie. Yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? You've stolen Peach's castle, wrapped it in streamers, crumbled up countless toads! Why must you keep doing this? It's so mean! Ah, sister, you have such a flat outlook on life. I, all I am doing is creating a glorious kingdom for origami like us! How can you not grasp the brilliance and daring of my plan? A world for origami? But origami and flat paper can live together. You don't need to be so mean to these nice paper folk. It's just not right. You've got to stop right now. Very well. I thought perhaps you would listen to reason. I see I was mistaken. Ever since you teamed up with this Mario fellow, you've been nothing but a crinkle in my neck. It ends now. Consider this path closed. Alas, there will be an empty origami throne beside me. But no matter, the birth of my origami kingdom is imminent. You may as well sit back and wait for its arrival. Ah, oh, sheep! Oh, this stupid boulder won't budge. There has to be something we can do. Ma'am. Ma'am? Are you okay under there? <laughs> well, she's okay, but... It can't be good to flatten origami like that. If we don't do something... Soon, she might be permanently crumpled. What can we do? Uh, you could just walk away. Oh, 
You know what you have to do, Bobby. You have to complete your character arc that I just talked about ten minutes ago. You have to do it. You have to do it, Bobby. God dang it, Bobby. Yes. It's the only way. I know how to save Olivia, Big M. We have to... Set sail! <laughs> we have to get to that port in Toad Town and set sail for the Great Sea. I know it seems crazy to leave Olivia here, but... You need to trust me, Big M. Little help. She's still hanging on under there, but we've got to hurry. Let's get to Toad Town and make our way to the Great Sea. We can do this, Big M. Okay. Vinny, are you going to stream later tonight? No. This is the stream for the day. Ah! Uh, was there an earthquake? Thought I heard something big. Anyhow, if you're looking to get to Toad Town, the warp pipe in Shogun Studios is way faster than paddling. Wow! Any interest in the Blasphemous DLC? Not entirely, no. Welcome to Shogun Studios, folks. Whew, paddling upriver really takes it out of you. I played it, I liked it. There's a lot of other games getting updates that I'd rather play before that. I just have to prioritize, you know? If there was, like, a big empty release gap, and there weren't, like, a bunch of other, like, new games or updates or whatever, uh, then maybe. I liked it. I enjoyed a lot of it. Platforming was kind of ass. Uh. Turn off- Someone said hide the chat for a couple hours, then what the fuck am I streaming for? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude to the chat member there, but, I, seriously, it's, uh... I could just do a chatless Xenoblade stream in that- in that case. Speaking of, soon. Alright, Big M, should we head straight to the port? Am I- um, is there anything in Toad Town maybe I could do? I guess I pretty much have everything. There's nothing like a fresh ocean breeze. I need a boat. A yacht, perhaps? It's nice little music in this game. Ah, Mario, it's you. Remember me? You saved me from that tight flop, uh, spot in Autumn Mountain a while back. So, shall we set motor for the Great Sea? Ugh, just sounds wrong. Vinny, what's your least favorite TNG season? One. Season one. Um, hey! Is that another streamer? Those things really are everywhere. Oh, thanks for taking me all the way out to the Great Sea, Big M. I've got a plan to rescue Olivia, but we'll need a special item first. It'll be found on the luxury ship, the Princess Peach. It should still be out here, uh, somewhere, I hope. Once we get our hands on that item, we can save Olivia in no time. Wait, what? If we sail straight from here, we should spot a huge ship. That'll be the Princess Peach. Really? This feels like... RPG boat segment. I dropped it. Sploosh! A fat sack of precious coins right into the old drink. How do I, uh, do the Wind Waker, like, grapple hook? Uh, 
I mean, it's even called the Great Sea. I should just get the fucking music ready, shouldn't I? Uh, great Sea. Or is it called the Great Ocean? Wind Waker. Let's see. Yeah, Great Sea. Listen, there's no music here, chat. You can't stop me. I want to just play some Wind Waker music for a minute. Not that anyone's complaining. <laughs> In tune! Not that. That's it, Big M. That's the Princess Peach. <laughs> well, every now and then it works. I stole Desert's bit. I think we're equal then. We're even. Ah, here she is, lads. The famous cruise ship, the Princess Peach. <laughs> it's okay, Desert. It's fine. I knew it had shipped out recently, but why is it stopped way out here? It was a different bit. He played Sea Shanty 2. Okay, I played The Great Sea. Different chat. It's not the same bit. The secret to saving Olivia is on that ship, Big M. I don't have to sue Desert. We'll find it in the VIP stateroom on the second level. There's an elevator right inside the main hall. Let's head there first. Desert stole my idea. In the past. New music. Okay, the music needs to come up a little bit. You hear that one toad? There's just like one toad screaming in the background. Seems suspicious. Okay. Well, sometimes you just gotta, you know, accept that you're gonna get cubes. Block. Uh, 
I, I didn't say pubes. No. Though I did have an, a picture. I can't find it anymore. It was of uh, clown pubes. Let's see, maybe I still have that somewhere. Mm. What? I'm serious, chat. I'm looking for it. Hang on. No. Yeah, I don't know where it went. I'm sure you could just Google clown pubes and get your desired result. Uh, I'm not responsible for what you may find after Googling clown pubes. There we go. Thanks, Dave. It's a product. Someone probably made a decent amount of money with this stupid idea, too. Think of every, like, novelty store that you've come across that sells, like, little prank items, fake dog poop, etc., etc., and then they, you see clown pubes. You Think about how many millions of units that shit sold. And how little it probably costs to manufacture clown pubes. Bobby, go! Damn it. Bobby. Fields of clowns waiting to be shaved? No, I was just thinking that they took a little bit off of, like, a clown wig and threw it into some cardboard packaging, and it probably cost, like, you know, 15 cents to manufacture, but, uh, that's fine too, I suppose. Free-range clowns? Is that how that works? I tried to get them into the wrong shape. Oh, this one lived. Do it, Bobby. Bobby. Spelunky 2 on State of Play. That is now officially the most exciting announcement we've had in video game news in weeks. For me. I really want to see it. Let me know if it gets a, a release date. Exclusive to PS4. For how long? Six months? Like it was on Xbox? Ugh. No. I'm just spitballing. I have no idea. I'll take a look at the announcement later. 
Whoa, this looks even worse than I remembered. You're probably wondering why this ship is all banged up. Long story, I'll, I'll explain later, okay? Let's hop in that elevator and hurry to the VIP stateroom. I have a bad feeling about this place. Spooky, destroyed ship. Release date is September 15 on PS4. That's a lot sooner than I thought. That's great. Dude, come on, you can't just scream like that. It scared me to half to death. I think this Toad is a member of the crew here. Let's, uh, let him rest. He's out like the lights. Something must have rattled him real good. Vinny, you have a typo in the stream title. What's wrong with the odor of Ecclesia? What, what does it smell? Funny? Funny how, like a clown? Like a clown's... It's the Princess Peach. Huh. This model really takes me back. I had so much fun on this ship. Bright sunshine, salty sea breeze, horizon that seemed to stretch on forever. You spelled odor wrong? Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and my best buds. It wasn't, like, spell-checked. Hang on a minute. Sorry, Big M, this isn't the time to get caught up in the past. Olivia needs us, let's go. So, I spelled it O-D-E-R, and Twitch didn't correct it. Um, and then I googled it, and it's German for or. Oder. Oder. Or. Oder. Where are you going, Big M? The elevator to the VIP stateroom is the other way. Wow, this room got hit pretty bad. This is such a cool lounge before. You could see the entire ocean out that window. I mean, I know there's toads and stuff, and there's a heart. Um, I just want to grab this heart and then go back to the elevator, maybe. Oh. Where are you going, Big M? The elevator to the VIP stateroom is the other way. <laughs> Right, this is where the deck... This is the deck where... Hey, hey Big M, how much do you want to know about us baboms? The life of a babom is pretty short, all things considered. That's why we try to make the most of the time we have. I guess you'd understand better than most, Big M. You're risking your life to battle those folded soldiers. Ugh, listen to me. Sorry for the big monologue. Let's keep searching. Where are you going, Big M? The elevator to the VIP stateroom is the other way.
So, so if I do this, and then I have to rotate, but then I, I displace one of the sniffets. Oh. Well, thanks for solving the puzzle for me, Toad. You suck. What? Oh, where'd they come from? You, you're in the audience the whole time? Bug snacks? People are saying there's something called bug snacks revealed. You know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'll I'll watch the the state of play later. Uh, the Spelunky Two news was very exciting though. That that was the most I could have hoped for. Unless something else, like, really massive happens, I, I really won't know what these games are until I- until I see them. But, um... Octodad Project? That's fine. VR Vader game? Is it Vader Immortal? Yeah, unless that comes to Steam... I'm not really that interested. I'd play it if it was a Steam game. I heard it was all right. Isn't that right, Big M? Vinny, there's something behind the model. It's gonna be like The Shining. A bunch of blood's just gonna pour out of it. The elevator isn't working. Are you kidding me? Shoot, power must be out for the whole ship. I guess this dark, unlit room should... should have been our first clue. Mm, which part of the ship controls the power? Any, any idea where to start, Big M? it was just a sniff it. Oh, screw it then. Someone said, would you prefer Paper Mario or Gino in Smash? Gino just for the sake of variety. Something pounded on the main window. Something big. It was so scary. Like, don't get me wrong. Mario RPG is a fucking fantastic game, and I do like Gino. I just don't think... Like, I understand that people want Gino in the game, but I was never on the same page. Like, Gino's cool, but it wasn't, like, my number one choice. But if you gave me a choice between Gino and Paper Mario... Dude, listen. Mario has had plenty of... ...costumes, 
Mario's a doctor. <laughs> you know, we're good on Mario. Malo's cool too, but yeah, I guess Gino from Mario RPG, if we had to get one character, I probably would say Gino, sure. Yeah. Another Link would be cool, or another Fire Emblem character would be even better. Chat's going to, um, hate me for that statement. What's this? Have you seen the terrible headlines on the Lower Deck reviews? Rolling Stone says, Star Trek Lower Deck's animated satire is highly illogical. Review, Star Trek Lower Deck's broadly goes where no Trek has gone before. CBS is going to blame the fans. They didn't drink enough before watching the show. It's their fault. We sent them alcohol. We don't know why they didn't enjoy our show. <laughs> I talked about it last night, like, it's a common thing to do, so I'm not saying that this was, like, highly illogical, but, you know, they sent... There's pictures of reviewers that got sent, like, a care package for Star Trek Lower Decks, and it was just booze. It was, like, Star Trek-themed booze. But... Not entirely uncommon. You know, sometimes networks do try to spice up the package a little bit with like a, you know, like a press package. Give the reviewer like a little gift. It happens with games. A lot, actually. It happens with, with movies, you, you know, you name it. Bra 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 berry? What is bra, bra berry, chat? Power source has to be on this ship somewhere. Let's keep poking around. Vinny, didn't you get a red dead candle? I did. Yeah, Rockstar sent me a candle. And, um... Uh, what else did they send me? Like a plate? I still had some issues with that game. No, no candle. Like, no, uh, plate, or candle, or map, or whatever is gonna change the fact that I thought that game had some issues, but, uh, I appreciated it. You can't get drunk on a candle, either. <laughs> also, if weed was legal federally, think about the press packages that people would be sending out for certain movies and games. Romulan fatty. It would be just like a fat blunt of Romulan weed. I know dude weed's funny, but truth is, I, I really could see that happening. Took my brain entirely too long. But I got it.
it's just nothing but references, Lower Decks. Sadly, I've talked about Lower Decks on the stream way too much, and there's even fucking ads being put on my channel for it, which, again, if I could disable, I would. But... For me, Star Trek is the moral, ethical quandaries, exploration, strange new worlds. Um, you know, Captain Picard using diplomacy to get a planet into the Federation. There's so much to Star Trek that has enriched my life. And it's not just, dude, transporters, beam me up, Scotty. You know, like, the references to phasers and Klingons and Romulans, that's all neat, but that's window dressing on what makes Star Trek really great, which is... The characters are interesting, likable. Um, they have different moral quandaries. They they challenge each other, but then they work together to do something highly logical. It's a really wonderful show that's enriched my life. Um, Next Gen, the original series, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, not you, Discovery. But, um... I guess now it's just references. I don't even think Alex Kurtzman, like, watches Star Trek, though, or watched it. Like, I think the dude probably just, you know, saw what J.J. made. And was like, oh, I can do that. Everyone knows Beam Me Up, Scotty, and Vulcans, and, and Phasers, and like, oh, we're gonna do a sh a ship battle in space. It's like... No one wanted this show. <laughs> no one wanted Star Trek Lower Decks. We just want a good Star Trek show that... brings us back to what made Star Trek great, Gene Roddenberry's vision. From the original, to next gen, and beyond. God bless. Can you fuck off, please? Ah! Shit. Mario doing his best Bobby impression. Vinny, are you saying you don't want to see Pickle Picard? I'm a wop. Turned myself into a pickle. You know, Jean-Luc, it's quite a pickle. You're in. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna go make a pizza. I can't figure this out. How, how is this possible? How do I keep doing this? Oh, right. New AI dungeon prompt, you are a pickle. I got a couple good prompts for next time. I'll remember that one. What even was that thing? It's so terrifying. Terrifying.
Vinny the mushroom. What mushroom? <laughs> Did I miss a mushroom? In the other room? Here? I don't see the mushrooms. It's long gone. Oh, okay. It was when the enemy exploded. I walked right past it. What the fuck did I blind there? Um... I was looking a lot at chat. If I can blame the chat now. This seems a bit fishy. Looks like someone made this hole on purpose. Hold up, do you think that means... I knew it, folded soldiers were trying to get the drop on us. Put up your folded paper dukes, we're gonna crumple you like yesterday's homework. Go get him, Big M. Someone said, do I have any hope for the Captain Pike series? Pike was the best part of Discovery, and the actor is great. Uh, but... That means now that there will be four Star Trek shows happening concurrently. So just spread them writers... ...real thin. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Get them... Yeah, get those, get those writers! Do you remember what happened when Deep Space Nine and Voyager were both in development? While TNG was on the air? It meant that Season 7 had bad episodes. Where they had a really, really good streak of episodes for like four seasons in a row, or five seasons in a row, and then Seven comes along, and Beverly Crusher has sex with a ghost. Yeah, let me repeat that. If anyone here has never seen Star Trek The Next Generation, my favorite television show, Season 7 had some really fucking clunky episodes. Some great ones, too. But... Beverly Crusher, the doctor of the ship, has sex with a, a Scottish ghost in space Scotland. Would I? Well, Dan Aykroyd did, so... maybe. I gotta ask Dan Aykroyd what his experience was like. Well... I was drinking some Crystal Head Vodka. What's this? There's an opening? Uh, what's the opening? There's an opening. We don't have the thing. Manhole hook? Yeah. Vinny, can you please say that the battle music is good? There's a lot wrong with that comment.
I mean, for the record, I already did. But, yeah. Well, I just stepped on something. Oh, it's just another crew member. Little guy snuck up on me. This one's unconscious. These toads must have had quite a shock. Big... Big... Big M, help! M -b bomb not a bonbon! My name is Bon Bon. Me, Bon Banga. You gotta do it! I screwed up, Bobby! Thanks, Bobby. In game paper amiibos. That's the thing. That's what we needed. A lever. What do you think it does? If it was locked up like that, it must be pretty important. I used to dream of being a ship captain. Or an admiral. I bet I'd be a pretty cool admiral. Like a... Admiral Bobbery? Pictures in the back are Peach from ever, every Paper Mario game. Oh, that's cool. They acknowledge the old games. Is this happening? I'm shocked that Bobbery was even mentioned. You know, because it was a modification of the original Babam, which is now illegal, and therefore shocking that they'd even mention Admiral Bobbery. Well, they didn't. It wasn't really even a mention. Never mind, it just was the word Admiral. I'm exaggerating, you know, chat. I mean, there is some bizarre rules in effect for the Paper Mario series. That is not deniable. But... You know, it's still like, the characters in this game are still pretty fun. Yes, the power's back on. Great job, Big M. I knew you were a take-charge kind of guy. <laughs> Get it? Because electricity. Oof. Oh, was I funnier when I had amnesia? I hope this means that the elevator is running again. Let's head back to the main hall and find out. Every night of every one of my streams, I say that to myself. Oh, that jolt. It can't be. 
We might be in real trouble here, Big M. We have to hurry to that VIP states room. Let's grab what we came for and then get the heck off this ship. There's a gap in the rail? Oh. Oh, this is... Mario, it's terrible. There was a crisis. There still is a crisis. I've been stuck in here the whole time, so I don't really know the details, but... CRISIS! Do you think toads are like a delicacy? In various parts of the Mario Kingdom? Or the Mushroom Kingdom? Do you, do you think, like... Like, their hats, or their heads, or whatever the fuck those things are, I'm not really even sure, like, the lore is confusing, because... In the Mario Brothers cartoon show, Toad clearly takes it off. And it's a hat. Black goop? Oh no, we're definitely in trouble. Quick, Big M, we've gotta move. Ooh, black sludge, I can't believe it's back! Terrifying! Now it's the X-Files. Man and Conquer got an update with quality of life improvements and land support. Oh, cool, okay. I'll look into that. A more pleasurable... Affirmative experience. Okay, power's back. Quick, into the elevator. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Oh no, it's already here. That's the door to the VIP stateroom. Hurry, get inside. This way! No, you're not, Mario. Ah, uh, help. This black gunk blasted through the window out of nowhere. I'll never be able to wash this off. Ugh, I hate the sea. If only I could summon Leviathan, that would make life a little easier.
I, I don't see it. Oh my god. Ellipsis Vinny. Vinny Ellipses. Someone said, I love the irony of Vinny being bad at spinning people around. Spin in the place where you were. Then get stomped. Exactly. Quick, the VIP stateroom is for that fancy door. Nope. Nah, no, I'm gonna go this away. This big M, that yellow box. I put it in this lockbox to keep it safe. Oh, what was the code? Come on, brain. Think. Think. Code. You really need that box. Hey, give that back. We have to get that box back. That monster's probably on the ship's bow. Let's chase after it. Oh, he's pissed. We now have a murder ba bomb. fight the Kraken and see if thieves. There it is. There's the god-awful Gooper Blooper that roughed me up. Oh, what a jerk. Let him have it, Big M. Olivia's counting on us. Oh, this is like an action battle. Don't ink me, bro.
I mean, this game could have just been like Super Paper Mario. If it does shit like this. Oh my god. Those toads were in there that whole time. It's the Skunjili man. Big M. That was incredible. I knew you'd wall up that thing. Looks like the lockbox survived too. Thank goodness. Now let's plug in the security code and... Obama got a super important Olivia saving item. Okay. Now he'll be able to rescue Olivia. Gee, I wonder what it could be. Thank you, Mario. I'm the captain of the Princess Peach. It was dark and scary inside that beast, but at no point did I sob fully and uncontrollably. Any fibs stating otherwise are just that dirty mutinous fibs. That ship was full of passengers. But we help them escape in lifeboat to preserve customer satisfaction. That's great. That means the rest of the crew and passengers are all safe somewhere. Whew. Speaking of, let's head back to the sweet paper. Let's head back to Sweet Paper Valley and rescue Olivia. Come on, Big M. I hope all our passengers are safe out there in the Great Sea. Yeah, I don't- I like the variety. I like being able to smack those big paper mache things with the hammer in real time. Don't, don't. Ah. Fell asleep on the job and had a terrifying dream that I was reborn as a doormat. I know it was just a dream, so why does it feel like someone stomped all over my face? Is there anything else on this ship that I missed? No. No! Is lifted. Will you come and let us know, please? Toot, toot. No, there's still quite a bit of fog. Oh shit, there's- there's battles out of here, too. Yeah, I do like the battle theme remixes a lot. They're, they're pretty great. This fog is incredible, eh? Can't move forward if you don't know which way you're going. Without quality armor, mere weapons, mere. I read that as 
Never let on a twist-off cap once. The bottle of juice was so wise. Most of my lessons in life have been learned from... Um, bottle caps, actually, yeah. And Bazooka Joe. I don't even remember the specific cat quote from Trials of Mana. I think it's... Mirror without quality mirror Mirror without dim rippers. I don't remember the specifics. Without quality armor, it won't matter how good mirror weapons are. Shop. Nope. Good. Where's the accessory shop? you even more time to arrange your uh, enemies in battle. Uh, y well, yes. I am Babby, and therefore need. Raises attack power for all of your allies for a little bit. Nineteen oh five. I remember that year. It's when Franz Ferdinand released their hit single, uh, "Take Me Out." Oh, you have a choice now. No, it's up to two. Oh. Not a lot of RPGs where you just sit to regain health. I mean, Final Fantasy VII Remake and now Paper Mario, but most of the time you have to sleep or drink some kind of tonic. Mario could just sit for three seconds. There's no time skip. I'm tired, I'm a sit. Oh, Hollow Knight. I forgot about that. Hollow Knight. But in this case, I oh, don't worry about Olivia. She's fine. Um, in this case, Mario could just sit down on the grass for three seconds and he'd get full HP. Why doesn't he do this? I do not do this. Vinny, it's not an RPG. Well, you play- you play the role of Mario in this game. It's not strictly an RPG. It doesn't have the same progression, unfortunately. Which I think is the one thing holding it back from being really, truly great in my mind. But, you know, there's- there's role-playing. More adventure. I mean, RPG is such a broad term these days anyway. I don't even really know, you know. It's the first origami-type game. Vinny, I think they're talking about Hollow Knight. Oh, well, uh, yeah, Hollow Knight's not really an RPG, is it? But you play the role of a bug. 
I don't know. It's not, though. But this is still also... This is more adventure. Big M. Thanks for believing me and taking me to the Great Sea. Sorry I was so hush-hush about what happened on that boat and about the item in that lockbox. I'll tell you everything. A while back, I was traveling aboard the Princess Peach with my buds, my b bomb rads <laughs> and my friends. We had all pitched in to share the VIP states room. Now, sure, some of us had to sleep on the floor, but... The open sea, the salty breeze, it was the best trip ever. But then that monstrous blooper attacked the ship. We did our best to defend Peach, but... The Peach, but it was too strong. That's when it happened. My fuse got knocked loose. It flew right off the boat, and so did I. Next thing I know, I'm in the Great Sea. Not sure what happened next, but I washed up at Toad Town. No fuse, no memories, no clue. So I went off. So off I went, lost and alone on a journey to try and remember, well, anything. That's where you and Olivia came in. And then those fireworks that we saw together at the Shogun Studios. They made me remember. The fight with the blooper, my fuse, my buds, boom! Everything came back to me. I'm so glad my memories are back, I remember everything now. Including a way to rescue Olivia. See, I had a lot of buds, but I lost my bestest bud. Bestest best bud a long time ago. He got scrapped in an accident. His name was... Also, Babam. <laughs> Olivia would have had such a hard time telling us apart. I always kept his fuse with me to remember him by... ...until the amnesia hit. So it just sat where I left it. In that VIP states room on the ship. State room, rather. Big M. If I can save a friend like this, it means I finally... ...become the sort of bob I always wanted to be. That's what every bob hopes for. A chance to change something for the better. To make an impact. Big M, uh, I... I had so much fun traveling with you and Olivia. It's been... a blast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for the fuse, best bud. Thank you, Mario. For everything. No, you son of a bitch! No! Wow, okay. So, as I predicted, but, um... Wow. That, thanks, man. Oh, what happened? Did you save me, Mario? Thank you so much. Getting flattened hurt a lot, but now I'm back to my folded and fancy-free self. Wow, the whole rock is just gone. Blasted into confetti. How did that happen, anyway? Did you get some kind of dynamite hammer or something? Just kapow, or what? Wait, huh? Where, where's Bobby? Is he around? Don't, don't tell me he missed all of this. Uh, M Mario? Wait, did he...? There was a loud bang, and now the rock is gone. No. No! It can't be! Well, this is more story than I expected.
Oh, hey there. Us Monty Moles don't get many guests down here in our little tunnel. We could do a better job advertising. Funny, though, you're not the first today. Giant bee with tears <laughs> running down its face just buzzed past us. <laughs> bee. You're looking for what I assume is a giant bee with tears running down its face. It went that away. I like this music. Did you make that bee girl cry? We moles don't take kindly to bee bullies. You never know what you're gonna find when you start digging. That's what I love about it. Bowser says, dig for shiny stuff. We dig. You dig? Bowser. Where is Bowser, anyway? It ain't like the big guy to disappear for so long. Someone said, sorry, I just came back from a break. How's our favorite bob doing? Fine. Bobby's just resting. Box. Oh no, it's the box. <laughs> it's the big idea. I'm digging here. How'd you like it if I came down to your work and put on some overalls and... Wait, what do you even do? You got me. You saved me. I was just pretending to work. Yay, Mario, my hero. Look, if I give you something, will you just go away? Wow. That's it! I got nothing else for you! You did it! You found the cave of breakdancing! Just kidding, it's a bathroom, and I'm dancing for non-bathroom-related reasons. <laughs> you watch. I'm gonna touch my toes one of these years. We dig hard and we play hard, but this, this is just mandatory team yoga. Hey, you from above ground? My big bro couldn't shovel it anymore down here, so he moved up there. Last I heard he was selling trinkets on the roadside. You see him, you tell him he stinks, and I love him. Fun, funky, and functional. Uh, well... Treasure alert. Makes a sound when a chest or collectible treasure is nearby. You're a few coins short, fell- oh god, that's expensive. Crawled into that rock to take a nap. That was three years ago. Thanks for the wake up, pal. Here's a little something for the effort. Oh, baby. I hope I'm still clocked in. <laughs> I like these moles.
Bobby sacrificed himself for me. No, no, he's gone. How? How could he do that? I, I don't know how I can go on. He's just gone. I'm too sad to move. <laughs> Maybe they're really committed to this. It's not just gonna be like a C-3PO situation. They're gone? They're gone? Um... Jackpot, baby! Some kind of huge rock exploded outside. We just gathered up all the pieces to see if we could find something shiny for Bowser. I don't know what could blow up a rock that big. I don't care. This could get us out of digging for weeks if we play our cards right. Got a waddle. Big M. <laughs> Listen, Olivia's having a hard time with this whole thing. If she doesn't pull through, it's like everything we did was in vain, or I did was in vain. But Big M, Big M, if anyone can cheer her up, it's you. Just think what you could do to... What could you do to put a smile on her face? They say that laughter is the best medicine, right? So maybe you could make her laugh. Gosh, I'm flattered that you're actually coming to me for more advice, Big M. You already know what to do. You've got what you need. Go find Olivia and put a smile on her face. I just want to say... One... Two things. One, no one's ever really gone. And two... Hey, Mario! It's me, Matelo! Your friendly babob ghost! Laughter is the best medicine, chat. Remember. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Mario, stop trying to force me to laugh with that. Wow, I felt an emotion, chat. I mean, it is quite ridiculous. Ah, uh, I needed that. Thank you, Mario. I can't just sit around wallowing in misery. Bobby wouldn't want to, uh, wouldn't have wanted that. Let's keep going. We have to stop my brother no matter what. Thanks again, Mario, and thanks in advance for all your future heroics, too. Alright, let's see if we can find that yellow streamer. 
Oh my gosh, first you have to remove that ridiculous thing from your head. I cannot take you seriously. That's nice. Someone said go to the photo studio. Guess Bobby's ghost is now gone. Alright, I feel like we're back on track now. Let's go back through the tunnel and get to, to the streamer. Sometimes a good cry is all you need, right? Huh? Do you feel that? The folds in the back of my neck just stood up. Getting a strong Bobby-like feeling. It's probably just my imagination, right? We only have our memories, but that will be enough. We're doing this for you, Bobby. Yeah, I I'll go to the photo booth, why not? Um, yeah, I mean, if... I, I guess Bobby's really gone, which is... Two things. One, I'm surprised they had the balls to kill a character. That I actually think is, like, actually... Pretty good. I, I enjoyed Bobby as a character. Even though Bobby just looked the same as every other goddamn bob -omb. But... There's also this idea of, um... It really speaks to the fact that... bob -omb's Have a hard life. And then, then it just ends. It's a short life. <sighs> Welcome to Shogun Studios, folks. Paddling up river really takes it out of you. So, you think about every time you play a Mario game, now when you see a bob -omb, just think like, some of these bob like to go on cruises with their friends. Some of them... hang out. Some of them are like Bobby. So now, I'm never gonna add a bob to one of my Mario Maker levels again, if I ever make a Mario Maker level again, because I got real lazy with it. If anything, it just makes Bowser more of a villain. He does not give a single fuck about these bob -omb's. Our friend. ever really gone. Wow. Is that it, chat? You just wanted me to see that? I mean, it's cool. It's a nice little Easter egg. So, like, what if, you know, Mario gets married one day and, you know, has to make a baby? Is Bobby gonna just be there? Like... I like the way you thrust, Mario. Like, that's not cool. That's why the idea of ghosts is such a fucking bizarre concept. Like, they're just hanging around generations of your ancestors just watching you have a wank. Hmm. 
Nice form. God, that, what a fucking shitty afterlife that would be. Well, do you see? Nope. Nope, this is real. Now, when I was doing research for the movie Ghostbusters, I stayed at a haunted hotel, you see? And, uh, I had a sexual experience with a ghost. I mean, look up Dan Aykroyd's interview about his sexual experience with a ghost. You think Dan Aykroyd would, would lie? He's an actor. Well, that's why we called it Crystal Head Vodka. You know, you, uh, <laughs> you can't give good skull. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm done forever. Good night. What's wrong, Mario? Let's go. In memoriam. I didn't talk to this mole. What do you want from me? I'm on my break. Never mind. No, it's one of these things. Does this have a name? Like these things on cardboard boxes and plastic? Pull tab? Is that, that counts? Woo! Thanks, buddy. Got myself in a real pickle there. Sure, I'm glad you came along. And you will be glad you came along when you see the kind of value we off we are offering here today at Toad's Otomo Boots. Feast your eyes on the boot car type B racer. It eats up desert terrain like a tourist at a buffet. And when you hit that turbo button, who we better hold on to your mustache, cowboy. Now, the least I can do is offer you a no coins down test ride. By accepting this whistle, You've agreed to the terms and conditions of our not a least lease. Boot car. Just blow the whistle and their car came tearing out nowhere, take you where you want to go. Just stick to the desert, okay? Those tires aren't rated for other types of terrain. No need to read or understand the details of your not a least lease. If the shoe fits, drive it. Hop on in. Looking good! Now, I'm sure you know how to handle a fine vehicle like this, but let me just give you the pointers. Do not run the enemy over, just fight it. Okay. Use L to steer if you want to blow the hairs on your mustache back. Hold ZR to hit turbo. Keep that button mashed and you'll be moving fast enough to break stuff and take out the fold of soldiers. Just, uh, mind the paint job, okay? I should've just drove here and then got out. There's a unique battle in here? Oh, it's the Karibo shoe.
Zero. What's my favorite Mario power-up or item? Maybe this is a little bit, like, overdone, but I like the hammer suit from Mario 3. That was always my favorite one to get. Don't use the gold hammer, you can't find them in any shop. Okay. Tanuki Mario is cool too. Mario 3 had the best power ups. Boomerang is kind of fun too, but. I tried to boost, it wouldn't let me. It's weird. Hold the button? Oh, okay. I am so confused. Oh! I just can't believe how, like, some of these puzzles just are so... Like, I see nothing, and then it just clicks. It does sound like Command and Conquer music. <laughs> ah! Was I folded into a scoop or a shovel? Matters to me. Wait, so this is the desert? It's so dark and cold. Where's the scorch? I thought the sun would be beating down on us. I like purple desert even better, actually. Desert purple. Scorching sandpaper desert. Nighttime desert is a good change, I like this. It's really big, wow. This it must be the desert after all, since it's just a wide open space filled with sand. The darkness, though... Wait, where's the sun? Do you think it's hiding away because it's angry about something? <laughs> angry sun. It's an eclipse. Oh, that can't be good. No wonder it's so dark out here. But wait, it's not just dark. It's actually like there's a black hole in the sky. Black hole, sun. Won't you come? What a strange place. A desert with a black hole in the sky where the sun should be. 
how could that even happen? How could someone get all the way up there and open a hole? Well, at least it's not scorching hot out here right now. Um, should we try not to worry about the black hole for now and head for the streamer instead? Any secrets over here? Secrets? Secrets? No. No secrets. A lamination suit? Yo, I fucking destroy that dry bones. Well... No one's ever really gone, except Bobby. Best song about a hammer, go. Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel is my answer. Maxwell Silver Hammer, I do not like. But if you like it, that's cool. Um, Hammer Time from MC Hammer is fine, but Sledgehammer is, is my answer, easily. Is that it? It's just three songs about hammers? Oh, Hammer to Fall by Queen. No, that's a really good one, too. So, for me, it's Sledgehammer. I'm gonna put that at the top. Hammer to Fall, just behind that. Because that's a really good song. That's actually about nuclear proliferation. So that's a little different than actually, you know, a real hammer. Take This Hammer by Lead Belly. Oh, see, I don't know that one. There's probably a lot of... There's probably a lot of Hammer-themed songs that I'm just completely unaware of. I was wondering about those spots, too. They're cute, but I don't think hitting them does anything. Shadow of the Colossus. I like this little boot mobile. Okay. Ah, whew, thank you so much, Mario. I thought I'd be jammed in there forever. This is one of those sensor lab satellite offices located right here in scorching sandpaper desert. What do you say, Mario? Want to fax travel to our main sensor lab location? I can get the lamination suit now? Okay. I'll do that, and then I'll probably save, take a BRB, and then Castlevania. I might not be able to afford it. Oh, 
Oh, shit. How did that work? Don't be annoyed with me. I was using my lizard brain. Yeah, piece of pokey. I like that, uh, interesting f tower in the background there. So this lamination suit is, um... I guess in the main town? Then he talked to Toad. <sighs> Sensational. I've truly outdone myself this time. Mario, join me in a little thought experiment, won't you? What if, rather than detect unseen objects, you were to create a device that would make you undetectable? You needn't wonder. Feast your eyes on, while you can, upon the lamination suit. Wearing this will make it easier for you to sneak by enemies. Boom, another paradigm shifted. Hop down, I'll give you a quick primer on how the uh, how to work the lamination suit. Da da bum 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 da da Do you see, or rather, do you not? The suit turns you, uh, transparent. Now, you'll be able to sneak by your enemies undetected. It's a clear path to victory. Be careful not to bump or brush against any foes that would reveal your position. Bump. Enemies with sharpened senses will see right through this trick rather than seeing right through you. Just like the Toad radar, the suit's battery will drain rather quickly, so keep an eye on your power. Enough gabbing, time to put the see-through suit to the test. It really is Metal Gear Solid now. <laughs> VR missions. What was that noise? Another explosion-free test. Uh... Wait, we're free to advance to the field test for this item as well. As I mentioned in this test, more powerful foes may still sense your presence. Be careful out there. Do I get, like, a reward if I complete that? My work here is incomplete. There are paradigms yet unshifted, so back to it. You get the bandana? Oh, fuck, really? Oh. Snakey! You gotta go back in and do the VR mission, Snakey, please! I do now realize that there are probably many people watching the stream that don't get the Snakey reference. It's just some terrible Android game I played that had very interesting voice acting. Where the, uh, the game's quote-unquote colonel called their fake snake... Snakey. Anyway, um, this was probably the best time I've had with Paper Mario yet. 
best story stuff, most interesting locations, uh, some really good writing and little gameplay stuff. Got to sail a boat, ride a boot. Pretty, um, pretty good. And, uh, saddest, too, Rip Bobby. Actually good character, now gone. Shame. But, hey, thank you for watching. Uh, I will definitely be streaming more of this in a couple days. We're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with Castlevania. Odor of Ecclesia. So if you want, you can stick around and you will see more gameplay. Um, for the record, yeah, I won't be here later on. This is just early stream so I can take the night off and relax a little bit and enjoy the, uh, the night air and guitar. So, hey, quick break. Be right back. See you shortly. <laughs>